In today's video, I'm going to show you how to pick up the user rush from under center in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. If you're brand new to the channel, maybe you've never uh, seen one of my YouTube videos before. What I do on YouTube is I make Madden 21 tips and tricks videos every single day and post them on YouTube at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So if you're interested, go ahead and click that subscribe button. We also live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, and we actually have our PS4 uh, Super Bowl championship tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. If you're around, come check it out. The winner of that game is going to win $100 cash uh, from myself, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but guys, uh, research shows that only 40% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed to me. So I want to ask you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. Um, it's completely free to do that. And if you don't enjoy the channel, you can always unsubscribe at a later time. Okay, guys, so I have been running far tight slot. For those of you guys that follow me, you know that I'm actually going to be releasing that in my text message membership uh, this week, which you guys can sign up for. And I'll tell you about it in a little bit. But when you run under center, one of the things that you're going to face, especially when you start to play like top 100 players in weekend league is you're going to face a lot of user rushing from the nickel 335 wide formation a lot of heavy blitzing type of things and so i wanted to go over um some really easy ways that you can basically pick up um the user rush in the far tight slot which is my preferred way to run the west coast so uh, real quick i'm going to go ahead and just go through my coaching adjustments here on defense we're going to go to default alignment ball in there to play ball option defense on conservative um they would probably put these on aggressive because they'll try to get a strip sack uh with doing that uh for that but um but anyway curl flats to 20. okay so and you'll see this all the time people are going to come out now what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually audible two three three five wide from nickel three three five i think that's the best way to run it um that's the defense that i show in my dkit defensive ebook if you guys are interested you can pick it up in the description okay so we're just going to use the it doesn't matter what play you use um now if you have a play action play a play action play does help a little bit unfortunately we don't have any play action plays in this formation we have play action plays in the near close formation that we can go to but if you had a play action play um, it would be very effective as well, but we'll show you how to do it without that. So basically this is the setup and you've probably seen this if you've played online at all. They're going to shift their line um, to the left. They're going to crash them to uh, either out or sometimes they crash them to the left. Um, it just depends on which kind of style of player you're playing. And then they're going to basically do this right here. Now, if you're not blocking anybody, what they're going to do is at the snap of the ball, they're going to run right through the A gap and they're going to get a user sack. Now, I know it's a little bit slow with the way that I'm doing it because I'm using two controllers, but I understand that if they do this to you, um, it's going to be very, very difficult for you. You're literally going to have to throw the ball like we're talking like super, super quick. I mean, it, it comes in so fast, especially with like mutt. And even if you block your running back, sometimes it doesn't actually pick it up, um, especially depending on the where where you stand as a quarterback and, and kind of some of those things. So um, and then let me just show you. Uh, let me try to show it to you if it comes in with the running back here. And from what I've seen most of the time against far tight, they're going to have to do it like this. They're going to have to basically stand like right here, uh, maybe even backed off just a little bit here. But they're going to be able to come right in the A-gap here and at least push the pocket. Most of the time, they're going to be able to get a sack, um, especially if you try to step up in the pocket. It makes it really, really difficult. So what's the solution? How do you fix this? How do you, get, how do you stop from getting pressured right up the A-gap? Well, there's a very simple solution. Um, and at first I thought, you know, it was basically that you should slide protect to the right for every under center, um, you know, every under center thing. So if you try sliding to the right, what you'll notice is um, it's not going to really pick it up. You see, it's going to make it even worse. Um, it's going to make it completely worse because now you're going to get two guys free and it's going to come right up at the A gap at right at your face. So, um, that was kind of solution one. Solution two was to basically just ID the the guy. So uh, if I were to put five out on a route, and then I would just ID him, and my theory was that that would be that if I ID him, then you know the center would at least get him, and then I could get time to get a quick read off. As you see there, it does sometimes work, but I'm just telling you and Mutt from playing this over and over and over again. It doesn't necessarily work 100% consistently, especially if they uh, put him on like a if they put him on like a, a zone, it won't work. So you'll see like they'll do stuff like this, right? 
And if you try to do that little trick, he's still going to come. It makes it even worse. You see he's able to come in super, super fast, as you see right there. Okay? So that's that's really the, the bottom line is, like, it's not really feasible. You know, it's really not feasible for you to just block um, or for you to just ID him. You see how fast it comes in. Okay? So what do you do? Um, well, what you do is, basically, you're going to – you are going to shift your line towards the side that they shift their line. So if they were to shift their line this way and try to come through this A gap, which this this version of it doesn't work as good um, against me, because you see here with this specific formation, it doesn't work as good. So what, what they're going to do is they're going to 100%, they're going to do this right here. They're going to shift this way, okay? And then they're going to stand like right in here and if they do that, you'll see it's going to be super, super fast. Okay. So what do you do? You're going to slide your line to the side that they slide their line. So if they slide their line to the left side, then you're going to slide protect to the left side. What you don't want to do, in my opinion, what you don't want to do is I don't think it makes very much sense to ID uh, the user rush. What I would rather do is ID the uh, linebacker that is likely going to come free if you pick up the user rush. So in this scenario, it would be the left side linebacker. Okay. So what we're going to do is ID that left side linebacker. Don't ID the this guy, right? If you ID the middle linebacker, it's going to be bad because they're going to get instant pressure for you. So now what you'll see is, now remember, they are blitzing six, right? So if you send five people out on a route, six blitzers against five blockers, one of them is going to come free. Okay, so just be aware of that. But this is against six, and as you can see, I don't know why that I don't know why they didn't pick that up. Um, it might have been because we I, it might have been because we um, got something canceled out or something. Let's try that again. All right, so blitzing blitzing six, and remember they are blitzing six, so. But there you see, there you go. Picked it up. So I slid I slid to that side. So at least that gave me time to throw the ball. But as you can see, the pressure, if we just go back into instant replay for just a second, I wanted to show you what's happening. The pressure is going to come in quick because you're under center, right? So you see here, now right here, I can hit, you know, at least I have a chance here to throw to something, right? I could hit the flat. I could, if it, if, one of the big things that I like to do is if he user rushes, I'm going to hit the tight end almost every time. Like, again, they can bluff that, and you have to be aware of that. But if he does come user, it's very difficult for him to get back on the tight end route. That's why I like tight ends on a post or tight ends on a streak because it allows me a little pop pass if they send heavy pressure up the A-gap. You also have the flats on both sides. So you see here, I mean, the pressure is picked up, the user rush is anyway, but um, the one thing that you got to remember here is – you have a little bit of an issue with that backside backer. So now that we know that that might be a problem, as you're working to pick this up, one of the things you might try, okay, and I'm just saying to try it, I'm not saying this is gonna work, I actually don't know if it will, but one thing you might try in your pass protection when you're setting this up, is if you know that you're gonna to slide to that side, maybe you ID the weak side guy. Okay, we'll try that really quickly. If I can, for some reason it's not letting me ID him. There we go. Let's ID that guy. And again, we're going to send five out. Now, we know that someone's going to come free, but honestly, if it's that super slow defensive tackle uh, or like defensive end, it gives us a lot more time in the pocket. So let's try this. And you see, you still get a gap pressure. So, you know, probably wouldn't do, you know, again, at the end of the day, they're sending six at you. So they're going to get somebody free. So maybe it is best that that comes from the outside backer. That's kind of the theory for most NFL pass pros. So, you know, just be aware of that. So then basically what you want to do is if you think they're going to blitz you, the best pass protection, honestly, from this formation is to block your fullback. If you block your fullback, you'll find that you will pick up about 99% of any blitz they're going to send at you. So here I'm going to slide protect to the left. I'm going to ID this backside linebacker, right? And now what you're going to see, same blitz, but now it's everything should be picked up. 36 screamed in on the outside and one of the things you might want to not do is you might want to not ID him That's where I say you might want to ID that left side guy 
you'll just have to mess with the IDing of people. You don't have IDing is just simply a, a, an advanced little way. You don't have to ID. I actually don't even think you have to ID anybody on this play um, for this pass protection to work. So here we go. It sits here, and you see everything's picked up, and we have plenty of time to be able to get the ball out and make a read. Okay, so that's a that's another way to pick this up that you can use. So in 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 um, in summary, basically what you want to do is you want to slide protect towards the side that the the blitzer is coming from. So uh, I'm I'm sorry, not the blitzer, but the line. So if they if they shift their line to the left, you want to slide left. If they shift their line to the right, you want to slide right. So I'm going to shift my line to the left, um, and then you want to block your fullback. That's pretty much it. If you ID, let me just test this out. Let's see what happens if we ID this outside linebacker on the right. Step of the ball. Let's just see if the left side guy. And you see the left side pressure doesn't really come in, but you know you got pretty much good quality pocket, um, uh, or or at least a little bit of time to be able to pick up the blitz and be able to get it out against you know whatever they're going to be running up against you. So that is uh, today's tip. Now, if you want to get the full far tight offset, or I'm sorry, far tight slot offense that I'm going to be releasing um, in my text message membership, it's really, really easy to pick it up. All you have to do is just shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. So you can shoot me a text message. Um, we give out free tips, free schemes every single week in our text message membership, and it's completely free to you guys to be able to pick it up. So I'd highly, highly encourage you, um, if you haven't already picked it up, to go ahead and pick it up. Uh, I think it's one of the best things going on right now in the Madden community because um, it's just really, really good tips. It, it really is. What you'll notice also really quickly with this pressure is depending on who you ID, that's kind of who you're telling. Um, that's kind of who you're telling your fullback to block in essence. But basically like right here, you'll see, you see how the fullback's going to come over here and block to the right and get a cut block. So the one issue that I feel like we're gonna have with this is you see how this kind of shuffle, um, this, this kind of shuffle here. So I'm honestly gonna say that I think it's probably best that you don't even ID anybody. I think it's just gonna mess things up, to be honest. Uh, last year, ID was really, really effective. This year, I just don't think it's that effective. Um, I would just block your running back. One thing you could you could mess around with is like a block and release flat route. Uh, I actually think that could be fairly effective against this as well. But just block your block your halfback, slide to the left, and um, you see here we got everything picked up. We're able to get out, get the ball out, and and go. So thanks for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, link to that is in the description. And if you haven't texted in about the far tight slot. Very, very effective scheme. We also have other schemes. We have Big Nickel over G. We have, um, we have Big Nickel over G. We have, um, oh gosh, uh, Carolina Gun Bunch in there. We have U Trips from New England. We have a bunch of really, really good schemes in there for you to be able to choose from. Just by texting in, you get access to all of that stuff. It's a, all in a playlist format. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, uh, just shoot me a text and let me know what's up.